Joining me for Big Country Sky, Chapter 13, Fire and Ice. You rush out into the night, surrounded by the Oakley crew, to find the barn on fire. Oh my god! The barn! No! No! What do we do? Ah, uh, I'll call the fire department! It'll burn to the ground before they can get out here. We have to do something ourselves in the meantime. Let's talk about it. I'll start up the generator and move the pump to the well. Duke, you and Brooklyn, hook up the hoses to the well. We got it. I'll help. Um, Dallas, Duke and Brooklyn, Dallas. This way. Follow Dallas to the other side of the barn where the generator is sitting near the fence. Good thing this wasn't inside. Oh, as I sneeze. Yeah, I moved it out this afternoon. And the shadows beyond the barn, you see what looks like a cattle roaming down the driveway. Moo. Mm. Uh, Dallas? Damn, we don't have time for that now. The two of you carry the generator over to the others and start it. What now? We gotta move the pump down to the well. Grab the other end. Together, you drag the pump over to the well. After Duke and Brooklyn hook up all the hoses, you grab one and start spraying the barn. You attack the fire with multiple hoses, the generator roaring and the pump whining to deliver as much water as possible. If we can get keep the flames isolated on the right side so they don't spread to the hayloft, we might have a chance. With the hose in hand, you run towards the fire, taking in the growing flames. I should aim left. You extinguish a few smaller flames with the fire to the right suddenly grows large. Okay, we were trying to keep it to the right side. John, to the right! Oh, what shit. Oops. Don't worry about it, I got it! Duke runs over the growing flames, smothering them with a steady blast of water. I'll water down the hay to help keep it from burning. Daddy, be careful! Over there, Brooklyn. Get those embers! Brooklyn turns her hose on those embers that are floated down and threatening to start a new flare-up. We're making progress! Between the heat of the fire and the heavy lifting, you're sweating hard. John, we need more on the left. Uh, okay. Move forward, getting closer to the section on the left, but the heat pushes back at the at you like a huge wall. I should aim left. You expertly spray the water over the flames on the left side of the barn, cutting the fire off. Great job, John. We almost got it. Finally, the bulk of the flames have been knocked down, and the barn is filled with the smell of sizzling charred wood. Duke, finish off the last of the hot spots as Dallas and Sawyer stumble out. I think we, uh, I think we did it. Saved most of the hay, but the barn. You hear a squeaky noise from behind you. What's that? You move a wooden plank out of the way to find. The kittens! No! Ruby and the kittens! I'm so glad they're okay. You pick up a kitten and snuggle her close to your body. She meows happily. Brooklyn pets the smallest one, tears in her eyes. Ruby must have gotten them out when the fire started. How did this even happen? So basically, Ruby died. R.I.P. Hell if I know. Maybe a lantern fell over? Or maybe this was no accident. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Dallas walks back into the smoldering ashes, searching for something. Look at this. He kicks out a metal gasoline can from under the wreckage. Where did that come from? I don't know, but we never leave gas cans in the barn. You guys really think... Yeah, this was arson. This was Agricorp. We don't know for sure it was them, but let's be honest, come on, we know better. Those bastards! I knew they were shady, but I never thought they'd stoop to something like this. Wish I could say I'm surprised. Yeah. Uh-huh. 
Alice roots around some more and uncovers a second gas can. Well, look at that, another one. Those sons of bitches. They found out we wouldn't sell them the ranch, so they're destroying it instead. And we just fix up the barn, too. We looks at the ruined barn for a moment, quiet and saddened, a surprisingly cold wind blows. No one's going to mourn the fact that Ruby's dead. I'd rather mourn the cat than the barn. It's chilly. Must be the low pressure system. Quick, John, let me throw you back into the fire. <laughs> Guy's awfully gray. I think we're about to get some snow. But it's still like summertime. Is that a thing? It's not common, but it happens. Still early, though. Freaking snowstorms. That's just what we need today. What's next? The earth opens up and Jason Momoa comes crawling out. Who? Alice walks partway around the barn, looking at something. Not to sound the alarm, but I'm starting to think this was all part of their plan. What do you mean? The fence along the main pasture is broken. Sure as hell wasn't this morning. I did see some cows running out during the fire. They must have been trying to spook the herd. We gotta round them up before it's too late. You all rush over to the main pasture. Damn it! Looks like, what, only about half the herd? If that, more like a third. Rest of them all spooked. What do we do? Only thing we can do. We saddle up and get them back. You can count on me. Me too. Uh, guys? Turn to see Curly staring up at the sky. Oh, who gives a shit? It's fucking snow. Who cares? Round up the goddamn cows. A few graceful snowflakes float down around you. You have got to be kidding me. It's definitely snowing. It, should we go out in this? Shut up. Let's get going now. The snow is only going to get worse. The sooner we get moving, the better. Damn straight. Just then, there's a rumble from the driveway as Juliet's truck comes driving down. What's Juliet doing here? She pulls up and hops out, rushing over to you. I'm sure you know this already, but I was driving past and saw some of your cattle out by the road. Ah, uh, we were just about to round them up. I like how the barn is still in one piece in the background. In that case, need some help? Please. Don't you need to prepare your ranch for the snow? We've got more, way more staff than you guys. We'll get it done easily over there. And I meant it when I said I'm, the only way our ranches survive is together. If you're sure, then welcome to the team. Juliet grins and pauses as she eyes her clothes. Uh, John, you're not exactly dressed for this weather. I just fought a goddamn fire. What did you want me to wear, a bikini or a snowsuit? Neither are you. Yeah, but I'm used to Montana weather. You're still a city guy. Oh, oh fair enough. Let me run and change real quick. Upstairs, you'll quickly find your warmest clothes. This is perfect for braving a freak snowstorm. You were perfectly fine in the goddamn jeans jacket. Now shut up and get out there. Rejoin the others in the back, outside. You're not gonna change? Nah, I figured it was taking too long, old McDo. You huddle up, hoping you made the right choice. Even though the fact you ran in changed, said no, put the clothes away, and ran back out after getting changed all over again. But yeah, yeah, good job, Pixelberry. Shh, no one will notice. So how do we do this? First, we spread out to find the cows. Then we'll regroup to herd them home together. Me and Dallas will be on horseback. Everyone else can cover ground on foot. I think someone should stay here as a communication hub. I'll do it. I'll, uh, I'll be like that guy in the highest movies who's always in the dark room, watching a bunch of monitors and giving orders. But you know, cute. Fine with me. Make sure everyone has your number and park yourself in the house. Whoever finds a cow, text Brooklyn so she can coordinate. What if... I can't find Brooklyn. My phone's pretty iffy here. Shout for help if you can. 
or do your best to herd the cows back to the barn on your own. Got it. City Slicker suddenly becomes convinced he can herd cows back to home. Oh, this will go well. You look out at the empty pasture, now tinged with white. The snow is coming down pretty decisively now, and the wind is blowing. Pretty sure wish I had warmer coat. Oh, shut up. Sawyer and Dallas ride off in one direction, while you, Juliet, Curly, and Duke head the other way, walking out into the gusty weather. Your feet crunch across the frosty grass, your eyes squint in the wind, scanning for cows. <coughs> Look. Point to a dozen cows at the far end of the pasture, outside the pasture game. Right, let's go. Uh, gotta get them before they start heading into the Mendoza property. Anna Marie and mine never give them back. Ha 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 Real funny, Curly. I'd like to smack you. Four of you walk quickly towards them. You're starting to lose the feeling in your feet. Oh, stop it! A snow coat would really come in handy right now. No! No! How would a snow coat protect your feet? Hey! Shit writing from the Pixelberry team. Strike one. Technically strike two, but shh. If you draw closer to the wayward cows, Duke calls out. We should fan out in equal numbers. Circle around them, and before we herd them, back to the pasture. Duke walks wide to the left of the cows. Curly and Juliet walk wide to the right. Wait, what am I supposed to do again? Uh, head left? You jog to catch up with Duke. You got any, uh, cowboy scales, John? I can tie a cherry stem in a knot with my tongue. Uh, that's not exactly what I had in mind. Curly suddenly runs ahead, rounding the herd in front of the lead cow. The cow stops, looks at him like they're deciding whether to keep walking or turn around. Come on, walk about time is over. Time to go home. Like herding dogs, you and Duke come around the other side, pressing the cows into a more compact herd. Curly stares the lead cow in the eyes and takes a single step towards the cow. All right, cutie pie, back to the barn. Cow turns and heads back towards the barn, and the others go along with her. You sweet talk every cow you meet. Oh, so many puns right now. I got her uh, going, didn't it? Suddenly, one rogue cow veers away from the others. <laughs> She's getting away. I get her, John. Chase her. Ask for backup. Chase her alone. Run after the cow, which only makes her jog away from you faster. Ah, uh, cow. cow. Cow, stop. Stop, cow. John, stop. Don't run after her. You're just pushing her further away. Oops. What do I do? Hang on. Backup's on its way. You and Juliet split up and get in front of the cow, turning to push it back towards the group. Good job, hers. For you. No, not you. Shh, be quiet. You all walk in formation behind the herd, moving them back across the pasture. Oh, look there! You follow his gaze through the snow, which is really blowing now, and spot a few more cows over in the other direction. We'll go get those next. Should I go over there now and see if I can at least keep them from running further? Yeah, that'd be great. All you have to do is park yourself on the far side of them. Don't let them wander away. I can do that. Can you? You separate from the group and stride off across the field, feeling like you know enough of what you're doing. The snow and the wind have really intensified, and you have to concentrate to keep the cow in your sides. You pass an open-sided shed with two cows huddled in them. You guys have got the right idea. Why aren't your friends over here joining you? You look ahead to where the cows went a minute ago, and you can't see them anymore. Everything has gone completely white. Uh-oh. I'm getting a home for the holidays vibe here. I can hardly see anything. I'm starting to think this wasn't such a good idea. Call out, unsure if anyone can hear you from here. Uh, hello? Nothing. Just the wind howling. 
Oh boy, keep it together, keep it together. A anyone out there? I don't want to die alone. I'm gonna snuggle with these cows for the time being. <laughs> After a moment, you hear several responses faintly through the wind. Out here! This way. Is that you, John? I bet I can reach one of them if I walk towards their voice. Ah, look at that. Walk towards the light, John. Walk towards the light. I don't want to risk it. Just gonna stay right here. 20 diamonds to walk towards someone's voice. You take cover under the open-sided shed. The only thing you can really see. Hugging yourself for warmth. The snow still gusts in the sides, but it's a tiny bit better, and at least you makes you feel attached to something. You inch closer to the cows, hoping they'll let you huddle with them for warmth. Put out your hands, stroking the sides. They seem not to mind you, so you position yourself between the two cows, which helps block the wind. Ah. Thanks, cows. Just hoping. Hoping we can just wait this out. Now that you're not moving, you really feel the cold down your bones. <sighs> Starting to get a little worried. Pull out your phone and pull off a glove to try to text Brooklyn with frozen fingers. Come on, Brooklyn. Try sending it, but getting an air, no signal. Of course. You have the idea of walking back out into the whiteness, but you know it's best to just stay and wait. Twelve days later. <laughs> John has been found dead. Frozen. After what feels like an eternity, the wind finally dies down and the snow lightens up. I can see something beyond my own face. Strange rumbling sound causes you to turn and look out on the horizon. What the? Large herd of snow-covered cows is being driven over the crest of the hill. Yeah! <laughs> they did it! Your joy at seeing them suddenly turns to alarm as you realize they're being driven straight at you. You should join in <laughs> and get out of the way. You're ready to get out of the path of the cows who are hustling across the plain like they've just got vision of warm beds of hay in their heads. Safely out of the way, you can see that everyone has come together on the cattle drive. <laughs> Go on. Get on home. Together, you all accompany the animals back to the main barn. The ones that's still standing, both cows and humans, look relieved and thrilled to see them home. Back in the main barn, the cows eagerly dig into their hay as steam comes off their backs. And there is lots of hugging and patting on the back as the whole gang reunites. Duke and Sawyer hang on to each other for a long moment. You okay, bro? I am now. That was, uh, that was hairy for a minute. We made it! We made it! I thought I was gonna turn into a pasture popsicle. Never been so happy to see the inside of a barn. You okay, John? Better than I was, that's for sure. Hey! I run quiet and turns to see Brooklyn bundled up and standing in the open barn door. Uh, Brooklyn? I just got a call from the hospital. Yeah, she looks really bundled up. It's about Grandpa. Really? Ri God damn it, Pixelberry, really? What's going on with Cliff? Find out in the next chapter of Big Sky Country. <sighs> Let's go look at the white thingy, shall we? Look at the white! Oh, look at that! You love that white, don't you? Mmm, look at it! This is this orbit. Mmm, yeah, you like it, don't you? So, thanks so very please fix it. Um, with that being said, hope you all enjoyed the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Head to the description below. Links to social media, Discord, and a few links that support me and my content. And without further ado, hope you're all enjoying that what? You should maybe tweet them or message them on Facebook and maybe even create Tumblr posts. For the love of God, please. Make this stop.
please. If you care at all about me, please. If you care at all about your eyesight, you should maybe convince them to stop this as well. Without further ado, catch you on the next video, please.